West Coast Comics. Hey guys, how you doing? Happy uh, Chris Mahana Kwanzaa. I got it out in one word. Yeah. <laughs> hey, look who's wait, wait, here. Wait, can you say that again? Can you say it more than once? It's Chris Mahana Kwanzaa. Fair? Yeah, <laughs> I could do it. I could do it all day. I Chris can. Mahana Kwanzaa. Um, so Chrissy's back in LA, Hello. as you can see, and um, we've given each other our uh, Christmas gifts and, and stuff like that. What'd you get? I got Pusheens! Show up. Show got... Be right back! These are, these are from me to her. Uh, so I have a thing for Pusheen. Yeah, for those of you who don't know who Pusheen is, shame on you. Right? <laughs> Educate yourself. Yeah. So I have a Sherlock Holmes Pusheen. Sherlock Pusheen. If, if Pusheen could talk, it would probably be with a little British accent, and she'd ask for a cup of tea. Pusheen's a guy. Fine, he would. But you know what? But... It's still a guy. Pusheen's Does this look a like guy. a guy? Does this look like a guy mermaid to you? Does this look like a merman? No, it's got a little pink butt and, I and scales. It's a girl. I understand. But Pusheen is a guy. <laughs> it's where it is. You know what? It just it doesn't matter. Pusheen knows no gender. It's whatever. But... Yeah. I have I have a couple of new Pusheens to add to my collection. So you got funny. you got Sherlock Pusheen and you got Mermaid Pusheen. Mermaid Pusheen. Pusheen. Mm -hmm. All right. Yes. All right. And uh, I got from Chrissy. I got a T-shirt, but I already put that away, so that'll take me a minute to find it. And she also got me a new ring, which a little hard to see, but it it's is a puma. A, it's a cougar. It's a cougar. Or yeah. Cougar puma. Well, puma and cougar are the same animal. It, so it's a cat. It's, yeah, it's a big old kitty cat. Wow. So I got a new ring. So now I'm like. <laughs> I'm working on getting every finger covered. <laughs> you got how, many, like, how many do you have left? You got one, two, three. I got three. like five left. He's got five, so he's got like a whole hand's worth. <laughs> yeah. I'm working on it. I got on one! It. <laughs> um, okay, so, but that's not all she got me, too. Um, and that's one other thing that we're going to look at, and we're actually going to both try, is um, she got me two things here. Okay, pre let's let's preface this by I went to Gatlinburg, Tennessee, uh, a couple weeks ago for a friend of mine's birthday. So we went down there, and and unfortunately we saw the area that was affected by the fires and all that. Yeah. But we went to a couple of distilleries, and when I come over here, I usually tease Chris about the moonshine that he gets because it's L.A. moonshine, which is nothing like Southern moonshine. <laughs> Sorry. So <laughs> they have this one here. So I, did they have that one here? Yeah, they have this one. This yeah. one I've never heard of before, but this yeah. one, yeah. That's yeah. because this is only made in Tennessee. Oh, okay. That's that's a straight up, that's a Tennessee thing. That one, that came, these came from two different distilleries. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, two different companies. Um, so we have this Old Smoky, which is, uh, it's cherries. It's a cherry flavored um, moonshine, but it's full of cherries. That's why it's so it's, red. Yeah, it's Those like are actually cherry, cherries. It's like cherry soaked or yeah, uh, they've alcohol been in, soaked. Yeah, they've been in there forever. So, you know, they're going to be like, they're probably the most alcoholic part of this thing. This yeah, because it, it just absorbs all of it. Right. And then this one, which I've never, that one I've tried before, but this one, it's a uh, Sugarland Shine Peppermint Moonshine. I don't know well you can see it there. And uh, this one, yeah, I've never tried this one. Uh, this one is 100 proof. I think they both are. They're both 100 proof. They're both 100 proof. So we're burning. Like, gonna... If I'm getting this boy moonshine, I'm getting him moonshine. <laughs> <laughs> so here we go. We're going to try out the. Uh, and I, I brought two glasses. Don't worry, you get the clean one. Oh, yay. <laughs> what? I'm special. I stole this shit from here. <laughs> what? I'm going to try Oh, the peppermint one first. So. Pray for me all. <laughs> Pray, pray for Chrissy. Okay, so we're trying the peppermint one first. I've never had peppermint moonshine. I've had cherry moonshine many times, but this is a... I mean, I've had apple Yeah, it's pretty strong. Yeah, I've, I've had, had the apple... apple I like moonshine. the apple pie one. That's really good. And I've good. had root beer moonshine. I've never had that. That oh, sounds really good. It is really good. May you live Cheers. forever. Dude, imagine shoving a candy cane down your throat <sighs> yeah. with an alcohol burn afterwards. Yeah, it tastes just, just like, like a fucking candy, candy cane. cane. Jesus Christ. With, a, with, with like that burny feeling you get in your throat when you take a straight <sighs> shot of like whiskey or something. Yeah, this is so candy cane-ish. It's crazy. <laughs> this is, I, I I mean, I was looking, you know, it's, it's peppermint, so I was expecting it to be minty, but 
like that is just crazy candy cane. That is that is a liquid candy cane with a kick. Oh god, my throat's still burning. <laughs> it tastes really good. I like that. That tastes very good. It's not too harsh for me, but um, the first one always like gets you right here. Uh, it's here. got me right here from right here to right now. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's it's just yeah. <laughs> I've drank a lot of moonshine though. And what's so, sad is I'm the one from North Carolina and I have true. it. <laughs> That's true. That's true. So there we go. Um, we will, I think before we finish the video, uh, we will try the Yeah, let me recover from one. this one. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to give her, Who's we're going to give, uh, we're going to give Chrissy a little time. But in between, we're actually going to, we're going to read off some of the, um. I'm a wimp. I <laughs> the questions admit that. and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, now that we've uh, eaten up like seven minutes of uh, this with, video. But you know, it's moonshine, so it's okay. Yeah, yeah. So here we go. We're di we're diving right in. So um, first up from the Ninja Kid. Hey Chris, I hope you're doing great, dude. I would firstly like to say thank you. I understand you may get this quite a lot, but you and the other cast members of Power Rangers really made my childhood. Uh, childhood, <clears throat> and you guys always were able to cheer me up in bad times. So for that, I would like to thank you so much. Also, smiley face. I just have a few questions for your next Q&A. Number one, would you ever be considering coming to the UK anytime? And number two, what is the one thing you loved about playing the Red Ranger role? Take care, dude. So number one, would I ever be considering coming to the UK anytime? Yes. You want to be there tomorrow? Fine. Fuck it. Let's do this. All right. I want to go. Nemo wants to go. Selwyn wants to go. Patty wants to go. Chrissy wants to go. Tracy wants... Everybody wants to go. Well, I don't know about Patty, we're, but I'm pretty sure Patty does. We're trying to campaign that, actually. So, yeah. you know, the, the London uh, movie kind, Showmasters kind. Yeah. Let them know you want to see in space. Yeah. Yeah, seriously. We want to do it. We really want to do it. So, yeah. We all want to go to... Um, I want to stamp my passport. <laughs> we, all, we all really want to go to uh, uh, London. Or, well, we want to go to the UK, period. So, mm -hmm. but we do want to hit up London. Uh, the second part was, what is the one thing you loved about playing the Red Ranger role? I killed Zordon. The one thing. I killed Zordon. It's not like the one thing, but I mean, that is one thing that I do love about it. I killed Zordon. I killed the shit out of him. And I love to remind Dave about that whenever possible. Every time he can. Every time. Every it's time. just... I'm such a son of a bitch with that stuff, but it's like when you see the Simpsons and like Bart gets tattoo and Lisa's pokey, he's like, "I'll quit it, I'll quit it." He is Lisa, and he's like, "I killed you, I killed you, I killed you, I killed you." Dave, guess what? Guess what? Guess who's dead? You. And Dave's you. like, <laughs> <laughs> Dave is Bart. Dave loves it. Dave loves it. He, really <laughs> he does. does. He does. He gets a kick out of it. Next from David, and then another one after that from David. Different David though, not Fielding. No, it's the same one. Oh yeah, not Dave, not Dave Fielding. <laughs> No, uh, but from David. Hey, Chris, thanks for answering my questions. I hope Chrissy can make it happen for you to come out to Wizard World Columbus. Me too. I'm um, working on it. That's in Ohio. Next year, I would like to meet you. I know people probably tell you this a lot, but Power Rangers in Space is one of my favorite seasons, and Astronoma, for me, hands down, the best villain. Nothing tops her uh, for me, plus Melody Perkins is cute. Have you seen the Toyota commercial for the 2017 RAV4 in which Patty, uh, Patricia John Lee, has a non-speaking role in. No, I haven't, but I did see the commercial where she's given birth. The Allstate one. Yeah, I saw where she gave birth. Mm -hmm. So, that was good. By the way, David, thank you for spelling my name correctly. Yeah, you're like the only person that ever has. I, In fact, I talk to people constantly, and I mention her, and it's people that actually know her, and they still spell it, they still spell it wrong. And I'm just like, really? It's like five letters. This is not hard. Is it six? six K R I S S I. Oh, yeah, it's six letters. Sorry. Whatever. But even still. We're going to take the moonshine from him now. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Um, and the second part from David was, oh, Chris, you're not old, lol. You look like someone my age, 30, and if it makes you feel better, I was 11 back in 1998, lol. It doesn't. Uh, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year's to you as well. I was, when, in 1998, I was, uh, 20, so, no. Thank you. I was 16. That's okay, David, I still love you. I was 16. That's fine. That's good. <laughs> um, from White Cats Vlogs, uh, we've... Uh, heard from them before. Uh, number one, the three messages. So, I've been a big fan of yours for years uh, since I saw you on TV show Safe Harbor, and I was wondering what happened to the show and why it was only season one. Um, <laughs> we both look very. Uh, also, I feel they need to. They need them. 
No, they need that on DVD, and then I found out you was in space, and I loved it. How was coming back to do Forever Red? Okay, so why was there only one season of Safe Harbor? I don't know. Because they suck. I guess. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> they they canceled it, and we all felt... We were actually doing very well in the ratings, too, um, a million years ago when we were on the show. We, we were doing... The show was doing very well. Um, it was a cute show. Yeah, it was funny. It was cute. Um, I don't know why. I don't know why they got rid of it. You girl crazy mofo. I know, right? That's just me. <laughs> it's me. Um, how was it coming back to do Forever Red? It was cool, um, but it was a little intimidating because I didn't know anybody. I knew. I knew Sal. I knew uh, Sean, and I knew um, Danny, Slavin. Um, but there was also like forty-five other Red Rangers there, and it's like I don't know none of y'all, so whatever. Um, but, um, at that point, for that, uh, when we did that uh, episode, I didn't really get to talk to too many of them that much or get to know them. I actually hung out the entire time with Jason Frank. Um, but since then, I've gotten to know pretty much all of them. Um, and we all get along quite well, so. It doesn't uh, get any easier. It doesn't get any. <laughs> Last one. Um, oh no, second one. You're so funny. When you read questions like I was five when in space, how wait, was, on, was on you like, was oh like, my oh my God, God, I'm old. LOL, that made me laugh. Okay, that's just an observation. But thank you, white cats. And lastly, question. How do you feel that In Space and other Power Rangers shows are on Netflix for people to watch? By the way, my middle brother has your name, Christopher. LOL, I love, love, love Star Wars 2. Okay. Um, Good taste. Yeah. How do I feel about uh, Power Rangers shows being on Netflix? Good. Go for it. Great. I don't know. You guys get to see us now, so. And a whole generation that maybe didn't see it when it was on. Right. Well, maybe generation isn't the right word, but age group. Right. Because I don't want to be accused of making him feel old. So that whole age group. Thing. Gotcha. Yeah. Uh, next up from Obi Wan Controller, who is one of my admins on my uh, Twitch page. Chris, I was seven when Power Rangers Space came out. Feel better? No. Shut up, Obi Wan. Uh, and I'm only here to loop the shit out of Let's Rocket part. Carry on, good sir. Thank you. Uh, then David said, I was 11 when Power Rangers Space came out, LOL. Yes, you were. Um, then Ycats said, how do you not know they still make DVDs when they're all over the stores? I don't know. What DVDs are we talking about? I don't know. I'm you sure. know what? He may be talking about the cold-blooded DVD. Oh, you might be talking about Cold Blooded. That's right. Yeah. yeah um, that that, that, I don't that know. was just that one particular film that. Yeah, bring it up with her. She's found it. I didn't. Yeah, dude, it, that me, was not easy to find. Yeah, like, both me and Jason Priestley were both like, what the fuck? There was a lot <laughs> of internet scouring. Because it wasn't it a TV movie? Like a. No, it was. Well, I mean, I, the first time I saw it was on like HBO, but this was years ago. Yeah, so it I might don't have know. been just like a made for HBO know. movies, but it I could it, it it literally took hours on the internet to find that dang thing. And when when Jason Pre he's just looking at it like, huh? He, <laughs> he's like, I didn't know they made DVDs of this. It's awesome. Jason Priestley is my hero now. He's a very sweet um, guy. Yes. Uh, next up from Harumichi25. Love these Q&A videos. Power Rangers in Space is my favorite season of Power Rangers. Andrus and Zane are my two favorite Rangers from Power Rangers. I have two, shut up. I have two questions. First, if you could use any weapon from Power Rangers other than the Andrus Spyro Saber, what would it be? And second, what was your favorite moment during your season or guest appearance? Uh, I'll answer the second one first. Killing Dave. That's always the best part. And if I was going to use a weapon other than the Spyro Saber, easy. The gun. That's it. Never, never not use the gun. Just use the gun. Don't fight. Just shoot them. That's the easiest way to, to win a fight is just shoot their ass. Yeah, but then don't the fight. episode would be like five minutes. Fuck it. Too bad. <laughs> I don't care. That's how it works. Um, from Anthony Pierce. I kind of like Van Helsing. I know it sucks, but for some reason I still love it. I don't know, but it's just something about it I like. That's fine, dude. Hey, when I put down on that video like 10 movies that I, the 10 terrible movies to avoid or whatever the hell it was called, they're terrible movies to me. If you like it, go for it, man. I'm not going to sit here and dictate to anybody what they should and should not like. So if you like it, go for it. As long as you enjoy it, fuck it. We're different all happy. Different folks. See, there you go. 
from Jason Shepard. Hey, Chris, just want to wish you a happy Merry Christmas, man. And you were my favorite ranger on In Space. Hopefully, one day soon, I will be able to meet you at a con. It would probably be my first one, and they look like fun. They are fun. They're and insane. Fun. There's a lot, of, a lot of crazy shit that happens. But yes, they are a lot of fun. Uh, back again to Anthony Pierce. Hey, man, King of Hearts, 1895. That's Leroy Jenkins' this shit. Oh, shit. Anthony is King of Hearts? You need to see this face. How did I not know bit. that? Wow, he just had a moment right there. Just like a... Oh. How did I not know that? I'm so sorry, man. Shit, it's I like did not know that. like an energy saver bowl. It just takes a minute to come on. Yeah, get there. okay. Uh, since you think all the other Final Fantasy games besides 7 suck, I highly recommend uh, recommend you play Final Fantasy 15. It is absolutely amazing, and I was about three years old when In Space was on Fox. <gasps> Thank you. Fuck you, King <laughs> Uh... <laughs> Now that I know that you're King of Hearts, fuck you. I like you. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, our resident jokester, Jamie Jokes, just came in with Merry Christmas. Thank you. There's no joke there, but thank you, Jamie Jokes. Um, Yukitoku758 says, Hey there, Chris. Thanks for replying to my last question about the Batman movies. I have three Star Wars questions. Oh, boy. Have you seen Rogue One yet, and what did you think? Yes, and yes. Uh, number two, how would you rank the eight Star Wars movies? Uh, there's five. There's not eight. Three of them don't exist because they're not Star Wars. She was agreeing with them. She totally agrees with me because she knows all about those three bullshit movies that do not exist. Uh, as far as the five that do exist, uh, first it would be Empire, then it would be A New Hope, then it would be Jedi, then it would be Toss Up Between The Force Awakens and Rogue One because they're both equally good. Um, the only reason why Return of the Jedi beats those two is because of nostalgia, because that was the first movie I ever saw. So it's not because it's better, it's just because it was the first movie I literally ever saw in the theaters. Aww. So, yeah. I know Snow White. Oh. <laughs> uh, number three, what do you think of the prequel trilogy? Does it get unnecessary hate, or does it deserve all the hate it gets? Do all three movies suck, or are there uh, some you could go back and watch? Do you think some of the actors were good in their roles? No, 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 and no. Um, I love all of the actors that were in the prequel movies, but they all did a horrible job. Every one of them. Not because they are bad, but because they were directed very poorly. Um, and the dialogue was shit, the story was shit, the action was shit, uh, the movies themselves were 95 to, I'd say 95 to 99% CGI, which means that it's not Star Wars, so fuck those movies, they're not Star Wars, I don't give a shit what anybody says. I don't care if they're canon or not. Um, as far as I'm concerned, no, they're not. Don't hold back. Tell us how you really feel. That's how you do. Yeah. Uh, from Shamai Duret. Hey, Chris, I think you should go back to acting. I had a idea. You and Justin write a film. You guys are in. You directed it. Pitch it to the Sci-Fi Channel. If me and Justin are going to do a movie, then I'm going to have to be the one that writes the whole friggin' thing. Because if he does, it, it's just going to be a lot of so fucking we... southern twang bullshit. Let's rig it. It's so wait, which one of you will be Ben Affleck and which one will be Matt Damon? I'm Damon. Okay. We'll make, we'll make Justin Affleck. Fuck yeah. <laughs> I'm Damon. <laughs> From my beautiful, my beautiful, lovely honeybee, Missy. Uh, oh, thanks, love. You're so charming and you always know what to say. I know, right? Uh, I can't wait to see Rogue One with you someday as well. By the way, I love your masculine, deep voice. I think you'd be an excellent voice actor. Thank you. I appreciate that. That's very funny that you bring that up because there's somebody that I was just trying to get to, to get in touch with today to get some kind of shit like that working. So we'll see what happens. I don't know. Seyom, uh, that's a new one. Seyom Berna Berhanu. Seyom Berhanu. Hey Chris, I got a question. If you can describe your cast for In Space in one word, what would you say? Attractive. Done. Don't worry, I already read this before, so I knew to, I already I worked on the words in my I'm mind. That. Yeah. yeah. Uh, RJ Scott, what is your favorite Christmas memory? Shit, I should have thought about that one more. I don't know. What's your favorite Christmas mel uh, memory? Did you almost call me Melody? No, I was gonna say what's your, what was your. I was gonna say what's your favorite Christmas melody? And oh, Silent like, Night. No, okay, there. but what's your favorite, favorite Christmas, Christmas memory? memory? I don't know. Um, Ooh. I don't know. We'll have to come you back. You know what? To we're it. gonna go with this Christmas 
because I started d driving across the country for the first time ever on Christmas afternoon to come out here. I drove from Maryland to here. Yeah, she's in L.A. She drove from Maryland to L.A. I mean, it's one side of the country to the other side. Like you couldn't get any more from one side of the country to the other. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. Things I do. Yeah. From Michael Mayers. I remember him. Hey, Chris, this is Michael Mayers. Sorry. Hey, Chris. There's an extra space between it. That's why I thought it was like, Excuse me. Excuse me. there's an extra space between it. Hey, Chris, this is Michael Mayers. Long time, buddy. Hope everything is well. We should talk more often. Have a Merry Christmas, the best Red Ranger on the planet. Thank you, Michael. From th uh, 360 Gaming, do you still watch Power Rangers? No, I never have. You watched Mega Danger? Part of Mega Danger? Yeah, Ranger. I watched Mega Danger. I watched, yeah, I watched some of it. I watched a few episodes, but I've never watched Power Rangers, no. I hate it. So there we go. From Nicole Diaz. There's three of them here. Two of them repeat themselves. Yes, uh, so we'll just say to him, YMCA, The Village People. Hey, it's a great song. Yes, it is. Is uh, it I don't know. <laughs> Who doesn't like The Village People? They're great. Um, and number two was, were you a fan of George Michael? Some of his stuff, yeah. Um, Faith is a great song. It's so, a great song. It's a really good song. Uh, okay, we got to keep this going along. So let's see. Comic book Relator. Uh, I'm a I'm a longtime fan of Power Rangers and Power Rangers in Space too. My favorite episode of the show is when the team when your team gets the Mega Voyager Megazord. I love that Zord too. I wanted to ask two questions and a request too. First, does all experience and training as an actor help you as a writer? If so, how? Second, how do you have a positive attitude like yourself daily? I'm amazed personally how you're always cheery and make other people laugh and smile. Uh, for you being you, uh, wishing you nothing but the very, m wishing you nothing but the best every day in, in the new year. And P.S. I almost forgot my request. Can you? No, because she already knows what it is too. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to do this. <laughs> Could you also say my favorite line too? It's Galaxy Glider Hang Ten. Yes, I will say it. Okay, so first off, uh, does all experience and training as an actor help you as a writer? If so, how? No, it actually doesn't. No. Um, it's just I happen to always have been a writer ever since I was a wee little one. So, um, wee little lad. Yes, yeah, so a wee little lad. Um, no, I, uh, really? Really? Um, she just wants to make to sure everybody not, knows she's the princess. She is. Uh, no, to mine, I mean, I've never felt that, you know, being an actor helps as a writer. Um, Right you know what? Maybe it is, maybe it does. Um, maybe well, no, but maybe being an actor does help as a writer because I do. One thing that I really enjoy doing, and I feel that I probably am better at than one of the other than most of the other stuff that I do, is writing dialogue. Um, because I will actually sit there and act out the dialogue between, like whatever the whoever the characters are, I will sit there and act out the dialogue, and then I will say it in a way that people would actually speak. Who Not to see a video of that. All right. All right. Um, moving on though. How do you have a positive attitude like yourself daily? I'm amazed at blah 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 blah. Schizophrenic. Um, no, not schizophrenic. It's just no, it's that. Um, schizophrenic. I don't know. I just have a fairly positive attitude. I guess. Um, I'm a. I am a. Uh, I'm a realist, but I'm also an optimist. So I understand that there will be bad shit that happens, but that doesn't mean that I can't hope for the best. Uh, and finally, Galaxy Glider, hang ten. There you go. Excuse me. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> okay, moving on. No, From you startled me because you said it so loud. I know, right? Well, you got to. I mean, you got to go for it. Go big or go home. And your voice has apparently deepened since then. Cause <laughs> it does. It did. Yeah. Well, also. I'm okay now. I'm okay. From Gino, I was three to four when the show was on. Uh. When the show was on, was the first season I watched, and yes, it was the best. Oh, so my season was the first season that you watched, and yes, it was the best. Yes, because, Gino, you have good taste. And lastly, from Maskman. Whoa, my childhood hero using Gokaiger... Moberates? I don't know either. I, I got nothing. Is that nothing. how you pronounce it? Okay, what she's the guy who's corrected us. It's... Okay. <laughs> Let's rock it, Andros. I mean, Chris. Uh... That's the video where I did the thing with Bruno, where I exactly did that. Where I did the thing where it was like the 
fucking go kaiju thing. I don't know what the hell it is. But I don't know. Mobarates? I get oh, because they're pirates and it's a mobile phone. I guess. I don't know. <whistles> Whatever. But yeah, good stuff, guys. Very good stuff. Um, that is all the questions or comments. So we just have enough time to crack open the uh, the cherry and try that. So. Thank you. I'm going to finish yours you're for gonna, you. You're going you're gonna to save me. Here we go. Oh, it smells really good. I mean, it smells just like regular maraschino cherries. You know? Oh, it does smell like oh, shoot. Yeah, it just smells like regular maraschino cherries, so that's great. Um, she's hungry. Is that your stomach? Yeah, that was her stomach. I felt like Godzilla was coming. <laughs> Let me finish up this. Pack no, it was, it was. She's a good stomach. She just rawr, you dude. Wow, there, little one. He's like he has minions. Oh. See, uh huh, uh huh. Burn a little. I just burn. had like that much. Yeah, it burns a little. Mhm. Mm she, she's just like ow. Thank you. Okay, here we go with the cherry one. I'm going to try not to put any of the actual cherries in there. Those are fun to save for later. Yeah. Fuck this hot. <laughs> okay, we got to do this quick. Here we go. May you live forever. Okay, that doesn't burn as bad. No, but it's really sweet. But okay. that is like drinking maraschino cherry juice. But it that's is. going to get me in trouble. Yeah. Okay, guys. That's it for this video. Uh, we love you. We will talk to you later. Mwah. Bye-bye. <laughs>